This is how to install a motherboard. Now it's time to install the motherboard into the PC case. So before we install the motherboard, we're first going to put in the IO shield right at the back of the PC case, which will slide into place just there. And it'll clip in like that. And there's the click. Now remember it's important to install your standoff screws as you will end up destroying your motherboard. So what this does is it grounds the motherboard. So next, as you can see, there's no standoff screws in this, apart from the one in the middle. So we're gonna install them, you just screw them in like normal. Now as you can see, it's labeled with M and A, A and M. The A is ATX and the M is MATX. So today we're installing an ATX board, so we'll be using the ones labeled with A. Uh, most cases come with a little tool like this. Now this is for putting your standoff in, like so. And then you basically put that on the slot and it screws the standoff in for you. Now it's time to install the motherboard into the case. First you want to line it up with your IO shield and pop that through. And then really, thanks to the middle one, it slots right into place perfectly. If you're ever unsure about installing your case wires, you can always consult the manual. It'll let you know exactly where to go. Okay, so now the motherboard is screwed in place, we need to connect the front panel of the case, which is your on button reset switch, um, to the actual motherboard so they work. Now, as you can see, they're all labeled and usually you have the plus pin, which is also labelled towards the left. But you can consult your manual if you're struggling with this part. So first we're going to do the power LED, which goes top left. Again, with the plus pin to the left. And then we're going to do the power and reset switch next. Okay, so next up we're going to install the USB 3.0, so you can use those ports on your case. Now you'll see there's a little notch. You want to match that up with that notch. And be careful, because you don't want to bend the pins, but you also have to give it enough force to click in like so. Next it's the USB, let's say a 2.0 or 2.1, depending on what you've got. And that just slats in like so. Okay, so lastly we're going to be installing the HD audio which goes at the end here, in the corner. I'll just slot that into place, like so. So next we're going to install the fans, which is really quite simple. Uh, this case comes with two pre-installed 120mm fans and three pin headers. So we're going to plug these straight into the board, as we don't have a fan controller with this board. So these can go anywhere if you have the room, as you can see there's one over here. Um, just look for the fan headers. And really it's wherever you feel is good for cable management later. But for the sake of this, we'll plug these in there and we'll deal with the wires later. And that's your motherboard installed.